now that the insulation's done, I've started putting these strips of plywood on the ceiling. Hold it up, give me a chase to run uh, some wires in there. It's a little air gap. I've got to cut some angle pieces at the end. I already started. We're using three quarter inch plywood. Uh, I like the, the plywood as opposed to just one by four because it's not all twisted and bowed. And when you're screwing close to the ends, like right here, uh, you won't crack them out. I want to show you guys something cool. The end of this trailer has a V-nose in it. So this angle, regardless of whether we're cutting for the wall, the ceiling, whatever, should be the same all the way around. Rather than measuring it, I'm taking my bevel gauge. I'm gonna hold it in the corner here, and that is gonna be the angle that I'm cutting on the ceiling. I know, because I own a tape measure, that these pieces are going to be less than four foot. So what I'm gonna do, set my chop saw to the same angle as the bevel gauge then I'm going to take this piece of lumber and because it's eight foot long I'm marking 48 inches and I am marking 48 both the center this way and the center this way now I'm taking this angle that'd be perfect because we're going to cut it again but I'm gonna make sure this blade intersects my hash marks. Now I have two pieces with that. Man, that is it's more perfect than I thought it would be. So here we're back in the trailer and you know, we're not building piano benches here, but not only do I have my angle right, I got a little bit of slack here I could kind of use to center it up if you will but we're gonna make a mark right there we'll cut that one and we'll do the same thing over here all right i'm gonna screw these last couple up here i'm gonna screw them up all right and then i'm gonna put the long one over here we'll get the plywood on the outside or the walls oh. Well, now that I got done cussing and throwing things, I'm uh, back to putting the paneling on. I got the ones up in the ceiling. I'm going to put all this plywood back, and then we're going to get started on the ceiling. Right here, there are vents, and as best I can tell, their intakes from the front kind of travels behind the wall and comes out here. I don't really know how it works with all these you know i suppose the top had a little gap up there maybe that was some ventilation rule of thumb for insulation and ventilation is either vent the space or eliminate the airspace uh, and by putting the insulation here we've eliminated it we won't need these i can't really take them off the outside because they'll leave a big hole in the finish of the trailer and i'm hoping it doesn't suck water in through there i don't think it will because there's no water inside uh, you know when you take the plywood down so i think it'll be fine we'll find out Oh, also, <laughs> these screws came off Amazon. I'll try and put a link down there. They got a bunch of different lengths. I'm using an inch and a quarter. I got some three quarter. They're too short. These are borderline too long for what we're doing here, but they're working fine. Uh, the screws are great. They give you bits with them, and the bits are terrible. That's what I was having trouble with before they kept stripping out. I got these impact rated Milwaukee bits. Just something good. Doesn't really matter what brand it is but that they're a lot harder and uh it was the bit that was stripping out not the screw <laughs>
time to start putting the ceiling up. And I don't know if you'd call this a pro tip, but I thought I got all these puck lights that are gonna go in. I would try pre-drilling them into set amount of these ceiling tiles. So I got eight of these that are gonna go up. I'm gonna pre-drill all the holes and then set them in the trailer roughly where they go. I did a little test setup. I just got a hole saw bit and my drill press over here. These little clamps go on the back side, be more like that. I think we could kind of wire it as we go uh, and put these in afterwards. I got enough room with the one buys. So I picked a good location, that's my test fit. Let's get them drilled. <laughs> guys in here with me I am on to who needs more glue my first light piece L-I-G-H-T so I gotta get a little more glue on here I don't glue too much because it has the tendency to fall down on your head I've got a garbage can with wheels on it I threw a piece of quarter inch five on your head laying around makes a great table because when you're over your head especially when you're working by yourself and you can't reach down and grab your nail gun off the floor and hold the piece at the same time. It's a problem. I'm trying to do this so that one went in. Super easy, make me look good. Alright. There we go. Just like 120 more. All right, well, I made it to the dome light, I'll call it. So this is one of the lights that came with the trailer. These run when the trailer is hooked to the truck, your cargo lights. So they only have one wire and the neutral uh, becomes a ground. So we'll have to make sure we get this grounded to something. I got that light up. I did wind up uh, running a negative wire, a ground wire, I guess, and grounding it to the trailer frame. That's how it was before, but I put it in a different location. There was no framing there. I got my second row of lights up, and I'm taking a little bit of a gamble that I can fish wires through uh, after, but I think I better get started on it now. made it that's the whole ceiling and man I had not a single full piece left over in fact all the scraps you could fit in a one gallon bucket this uh, looks really cool I'm pumped you know I used two different kinds of construction adhesive some was uh, well both were left over from other projects one was a Lexal one was the gorilla the gorilla stuff was quite a bit thinner uh, I like the clear because if you get it all over it, you know, you don't see it like you do with the tan stuff. Uh, so it was nice, but man, I got it in my eyes, my hair. Anyways, I'm going to get these lights wired up. I already got the two cargo lights uh, wired up, the dome lights that run off the truck. But all these LED puck lights, all eight of these will be linked together, one switch. I'm going to go ahead and get them wired up so uh, I just have some light in here working. It's probably hard to pick up on the camera how dark it really is in here, but just working in this dungeon, when you're working on a ceiling, it's hard to string up a light. So let's get those wired and see if they work. This is kind of my main junction, if you will. This light, this is the feed from the switch, one of these switches. And then these run off to lights in different directions. Uh, I did this orange and purple when I did red and yellow for the other switch and different colors so I know 
What I didn't designate is which was positive and which is negative. So it's as easy as plugging the trailer in. You can see here I got power to these. This is the beauty of 12 volt. It doesn't matter. There we go. Looks like purple. Looks like purple's white. <laughs> Try this out. <laughs> ah, one of them fell out. Try it again. Okay, now let's try it. Ta-da! Uh, uh, what did I do now? I guess I gotta finish the rest of these to make those work. Oh, I know what we did. We didn't did not do. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> so I started right here and I came here and then I was going to go that way and I changed my mind. I was like, I'll come all the way around here and hook them in like Christmas lights. Well, I didn't. So I've got here to here, as you can see. Those work great. And there's no wire here. So I either got to get one in here or I got to get one in there, connect them somehow. I'll get it in there. I guess I could drill out the roof and go up and over. Probably won't do that, but uh, pretty cool. Got these lights all hooked up. I had to go from one of those, <laughs> fish to the edge, run around. I found the orange and yellow feeds. Uh, orange and yellow? Orange and purple. And I pulled them out and tapped into the wire with some little crimp connectors. So anyways, a little uh, sketchy. We'll call it this uh, trailer's first remodel job. But I think we're good. All the lights are working. Seeing the two that I don't have, but they'll be here tomorrow. Uh, we'll throw them in and we're good to go. So I'm going to paint the upper here next. Put my uh, crown molding up, if you will, because, you know, you need crown molding in your race trailer, your crawler hauler. And then we're going to run some LED lights under the crown. Uh, again, that'll be pretty awesome. And then we'll get to the rubber floor. So anyway, stay tuned, like, subscribe. Uh, appreciate having you guys here. Hopefully you'll come around for the next one. Thanks.